I'm at the desk. You know what time it is. Also, I know it might be posted a day later. I'm wearing the same shirt as before, like the last manga haul video, because I got this one and the next manga haul video in the same day. I mean, the other one I ordered online a while ago when it came in. Well, this one, I got uh, four manga from Barnes & Noble and uh, comics. But like I said, four manga, oh, manga haul video, whoa, content and stuff. I don't know, whatever. Comic books first, though. So, yeah, let's just get into it. Starting out, Death Metal. We got Death Metal, Inf Infinite Hour Extreme. Um, you know, uh, I don't really know much because I haven't started reading Death Metal. Because I still need number three and then some of the other ones in between. So, uh, yeah. But, um, it looks interesting. Logo well and stuff. This one looks insane. Trinity Crisis, Death Metal. So, you got, you got... You got a metal Wonder Woman with like an atomic chainsaw. You got metal Superman with like a metal arm with fisticuffs or whatever. You got metal Batman with a scythe. Um, you got like l l Superman wearing like Superboy Prime armor, it looks like, holding like a whole entire earth. You got giant dark side and then the anti monitor. It looks insane. So, uh, yeah. Next we have. Death Metal Secret Origin. Um, yeah, it looks super cool. Uh, I don't really know because, like, I, again, I didn't start reading it. You know, I know, like, there's, like, The Darkest Night or whatever on it. So, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. I remember them fighting and, like, I remember people talking about it. So, it seems pretty cool. And the last one for the Death Metal is Death Metal The Last 52 or The Multiverse. Um, it's like a insane thing. There's a lot of characters on it. Um, yeah, I don't really know much about what's 100% going on in this, but it looks really cool. So, yeah. Next is, you know, the uh, Heroes Are Born thing every week, of course. First, we got American Knights. It looks like it has like some version of Daredevil on there. Uh, you got Black Hawk, I'm pretty sure, and it looks like kind of like Luke Cage, maybe. I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, seems interesting. I keep calling him Blackhawk. Is that his name? I think so. I don't 100% remember, so, sorry. Uh, but yeah. I don't know, it's a tie-in. That's not the Spider-Man one, so I got it. I don't really know. Next, we got Marvel Double Action. So, basically, what this is, is it's a story of when Falcon got killed by Green Goblin, but it basically looks like the, uh, you know, classic comic books. So, yeah. Um, next, we have Heroes of One 5. You know, again, like I said, the weekly one. Uh, I got it every week. And, yeah, this one's the uh, one about Black Hawk. So, that's kind of cool. By the way, sorry again if I keep calling him that. And that's not his name, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not going to look it up on video. But, yeah. So, pretty cool. Next one is one from, like, last week or something that I wasn't able to pick up, but they had it at the place I went to here. It is Magneto and the Mutant Force. Uh, it looks interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure they're, like, again, Typerian or whatever, but, um, yeah. Uh, I'm interested in reading it. Seems cool. Okay, next we're into the, yep, we're into the weekly ones. And there's even more Death Metal on the bottom, Okay. Uh, I was wrong. I'm gonna do the death metal ones, okay? Yeah, okay, death metal ones. So, here we go. We got Death Metal Guidebook. Um, I don't really know much about it. Uh, it's, a, it's called Guidebook, but I don't really know what's going on. But I know I have to read it for, like, part of the story, so, yeah. Next one is Death Metal, The Multiverse Who Laughs. I don't really know. It seems crazy. It has all the super pets on it, and they're, like, all rabid and insane. So, yeah, I don't really know. But it seems pretty interesting. So, yeah. And I'll also get the bottom. Tales from the Dark Multiverse. Uh, metal. Um, Darkness Metal. It seems, uh, interesting. I didn't read full all uh, metal yet. I read volume two of metal because i don't know if i should get the tie-ins or not but they're out of stock wherever i go and it's, i can't find them it, unless i want to pay like ten dollars for them so uh you know but whatever 
I'm planning on buying all the death metal ones soon, so I might just read through metal and not get the tie-ins and, like, buy them later, maybe. But I want to read the tie-ins for death metal, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm excited to read it. i pretty sure I have all the other Dark Multiverse ones except for... No, 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 because I have this one now. Okay, now it's time for the weekly ones. Also, I have graphic novels here as well. I normally do them first, but I put them on the bottom, so I guess they'll last. <clears throat> Next we have Batman's Second Son, 3 out of 4. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a pretty interesting story going on, and I'm really enjoying it. So, yeah, I would recommend checking it out. It's only 4, so if you kind of want to, like, read something that's new, just read, you know, you just have to buy 4. 3 is already out, so you just get the 4th one, and simple, easy. And there's no, like, other stuff, it's just that, you know? Um, we have Flash 770, I think it was from, like, one or two weeks ago. But where I went to, the two places I went to, they did not have this for some reason, I don't know why. But I've wanted this for a while, so I'm very excited to be able to read it. 770, uh, it seems interesting where it left off, so, yeah. Next is another one I've been wanting to read for a while. Another one of the something out of something, it's one out of eight. Crush and Lobo, it's like the pride cover, you know, for, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like, I don't want to say it wrong or whatever, it's pride month, it's pride month, that's simple. Uh, yeah, duh, why am I, what, what, what's going on up here, man? It's literally right there, I, I literally said what it was, but yeah, I'm excited to read it. Lobo seems cool, Crush seems cool, so, yeah, I read Crush in Teen Titans, Future State and Teen Titans Academy. I don't know much about her and Lobo is Lobo, so, yeah. Next we got Green Lantern 3. The last one I don't know if I'm like a cliffhanger of like them all dying. <laughs> so, <sighs> yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, seems interesting. That seems interesting. It is interesting. And I'm really enjoying reading the Green Lantern ones. And I really like the last volume a lot. Not volume. Book. No, number two. This one, I kind of bought it just because of, like, who's in it. I'm not reading the story, uh, but I actually, I just recently watched, what is this? I don't know. I don't know. I'm seeing it swing from over there. But, um, yeah, so basically, I just watched Batman Mask of the Phantasm, and then this is in Batman and Catwoman, so I was like, I have to pick it up. And also, the cover looks awesome. So, I kind of just bought it because, like, I was like, this, you know, looks kind of cool. And I just watched a movie, and it's a really cool character. So, yeah. I decided to pick it up. Just, why not? And then we got Batman 109. I'm really enjoying Batman. Uh, it's really cool, um, everything that's going on in it. So, yeah, I'm excited to read the next one, the this week's one. Okay, this one's one that I actually forgot came out. And the place I went to, they only had the variant cover because the first place I went to, they didn't have it at all. So I kind of, I didn't even know it was out. And then the second place, they only had the variant cover and like one of it. So I was like, wait, this came out? So uh, yeah, now I have Suicide Squad 4. Um, I actually was like, wait, did I already have it? Is it just a variant cover? But no, I looked into it and it's a new one. So yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, Suicide Squad 4. Cool. Okay, the last two are graphic novels, so, yeah, let's just get into them. First one is Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Um, I don't know, it seems interesting, and they're pretty cool, so, yeah, I didn't read any of them, so, I like Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, I'm actually watching the Harley Quinn TV show right now, I'm watching it really slowly, but I'm almost done season two. So, yeah, and I'm really enjoying it, so I'm excited to read Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. And last, certainly not least, we have Batman Rebirth, uh, Night of the Monster Men. As you might have seen, the last one, I got the first volume, and this is the second one. I think this might just be, like, something in the middle or whatever, because it also has, like, Nightwing stuff and, like, other people stuff. Wait a minute, let me say that they... No, it only starts out. Did they say anything about it? Sorry, I'm trying to... Yeah, I don't... I don't think they... 
whatever it doesn't it doesn't matter but anyway uh other people don't really enjoy this dude's run apparently but uh i enjoyed what video the first one so <sighs> yeah so i you know it's the second one and i want to read all of them so i got it because i found it in store honestly i only saw it from like one of the first one but for some reason there's like a lot of these like in comic book stories you can kind of like it's like every other one i go to right like i'll be to one they will have it i'll be to an no i'll be to one they don't have it. i'll be to another one they will have it i'll be to another one they won't have it and then will have it so i bought the one that they did have it uh so yeah that's really it i got two graphic novels a bunch of my weekly comic books and a whole bunch of death metal stuff so that i can finally read through all of death metal so anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you all in the next one. Goodbye.